What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a terrain and building pad. So our objectives, we're going to create a topo solid by defining points at different elevations. And we're going to create a building pad and fill based on the footprint of the foundation wall. Okay, so we'll be using the new feature, topo solid. So Topo Solid tool replaces the topography tool that we have on the previous versions. So this one is now a topography in solid state. Okay, creates a solid topographical element. Alright, so let's start this. So we are starting at the site plan. So let's click the Topo Solid drop down arrow. Let's use the other option, create from sketch. So let's click this. And then here, from the modify, create Topo Solid boundary boundary line so we will be using rectangle to create the boundary so let's click that and then let's zoom out a little and then let's pick from here to here the exact uh, placement of your point is not critical for this exercise and then after that we are going to use peak walls to define the boundary lines along the exterior wall. So let's use the peak walls and I do not want to extend into wall core. So I'm going to uncheck this and then to select easily the edges or the exterior walls, instead of clicking it one by one, hover your pointer to one of the wall, which is this one. Do not click, just hover the pointer and then press tab once. And then once it highlights, you can now click it. So it's now selected. Okay, so after that, you can now uh, finish edit mode to finish your topo solid. Click that and then check this one out in 3D view. So this is now how it looks like. Okay, so now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to shape the topo solid. So let's go back again to the site plan and let us select the topo solid. Let's click that and then from the modify topo solid context all tab, shape editing. So we are going to select add point. So it adds reshaping points to select the roof, floor, and topo solid geometry. So not only on the topo solid, but you can also use this tool when you want to create point to your roof or floor. Okay, so let's click the add point and then let's specify here the offset from offset uh, offset from surface uh, distance or elevation. So let's change this to 2500. Okay, and then after that, so I'm going to click somewhere here, this one. So let's click that and then I'm going to pick another point here and then another point here. There you go. And you can still change the offset value here. So let's say uh, 1000 and then I'm going to add more points. So let's say I'm going to pick here and then I'm going to pick another point here. So let's say another point here. All right. And then after that, so let's use modify sub element. So I'm going to select modify sub element. Okay, and then I'm going to pick this boundary here and then let's change the value. So let's click that. I'm going to type here minus 500. Slab shape edit failed. The floor or roof or top of solid is too thin for its given type. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this and then I'm going to select here modify. So let's check this one out in 3D view. All right, so this is how it looks like. So as you can see, there's a section box here. So let's turn on the section box. So let's click this button here, reveal hidden elements. So there's our section box, it's hidden. So let's click that and then let's unhide the element and then let's close it. So there's our uh, section box. So we can use this to section our uh, model. Okay, right, so let's uh, click our topo solid and then let's uh, check edit type. Okay, so the default thickness of the structure there is uh, 300. So let's try to modify this. So I'm going to select edit So instead of 300. So let's say I'm going to make that 1000. So I'm going to select here OK. 
So that's now the thickness. Then select OK. So as you can see, the thickness now adjusts to 1000. Okay, so let's go back again to our uh, site here and let us try to modify again. So let's click and then let's modify sub elements. And then let's click our boundary here, make it uh, minus 500. There you go. So it's now adjusted. So basically, that's the basic way of editing your uh, topo solid. So let us now select your modify and then let's check again the 3D view. So this is now how it looks like. Okay. Right. So the next thing that we will be doing, so we're going to create fill and uh, building floor. Okay. So let's go back again to our site. Okay, and then from the massing inside, I'm going to select here, uh, top of solid again, create sketch, create from sketch, and then let's use the peak walls. So I'm going to select this, and then I'm going to uncheck again, extend into wall core. Right, so for the type selector here, for the type of the top of solid, I'm going to change this to pad fill. Okay, so I'm going to select this one and then here on our properties, let's change the height offset. So instead of zero, I'm going to make it minus 150. Okay, and then after that, we are going to select the exterior walls. Same procedure. So you hover your pointer to one of the wall and then press tab to select or to highlight all the walls and then click to select. Okay, so that's it. Again, you have an option here if ever you uh, created the boundary on the wrong side, you can flip that. You just click the flip, but currently it's now on the correct uh, location or correct side. So after that, so let us now finish this. So let's finish. There you go. Okay, and then let's select your modify and then let's check this one out in 3D view. There you go. So there's now our uh, fill uh, topo solid. Okay. Right, so let's go back again to our site. So let us create now our uh, floor. Okay, so let's create our floor. So from the architecture, you see there's the floor there. So we are going to select floor architectural and then again we will be using here peak walls uh, clear extend into wall to core and then again we're going to hover our pointer to one of the wall and then press tab and then click there you go okay and then after that just select finish edit mode to create our floor Okay, so let's check this one out in 3D view, and there you go. So there's now our floor. Okay, so there's our topo solid, and then we have here our uh, floor. So what we are going to do next is, if ever your view doesn't look like this, so you can change the visual style here. So you can make it a hidden line, you can make it shaded, or if you want, you can make it uh, realistic just like that and then let's hide our uh, section box right click select right click and then hide that element there you have it okay so um, I want to hide as well my level here so click one of the level right click hide in view category to hide all the levels and there you have it okay so let's try to select this topo solid here. Okay. These are the topo solid. You can change that to building terrain. So this is how it looks like. So you can change that to uh, pad fill, pavement, topo solid. So in my case, I'll just use uh, building terrain for this. Okay. So there you go. So that's the final exercise for this one. Okay, so hopefully you learned something from this video. On our next uh, video, I'm going to show you how to create floor and I'm going to show you how to create roof. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.